It used to only come in white, but then... Best shopping experience of my life. Mom! Whoa! so much to do so I figured today I'm gonna vlog and you guys can come around and do some wedding errands with me so I'm bringing you my life today with our special guest my perioral dermatitis yes she's back people for the past eight years, I've been getting perioral dermatitis on and off. I have a few triggers. So it's this here, see this red rash? I'm just gonna do a little flashback to when I was pregnant. It is the worst my rash has ever been. So whenever I say my perioral dermatitis is back, a lot of people speculate she's pregnant. I can confirm, no, I am not with child. I promise I'm not pregnant. I really don't wanna get pregnant before we get married, but later on this year, totally. My triggers are stress, when I don't sleep properly, and when I'm stressed, and I use too many oils, like too many heavy serums on my skin, and coffee. It's kind of like a compilation of those things. Like there's not one thing that sets me off. I usually just get it around here, but it's also down here. Like, do you know what I do love though? I feel like a few years ago, I would have been really embarrassed to show this on camera to one and a half million people, but like we're on that level now. We're best friends. You guys honestly feel like my family and I don't want to sugarcoat this, okay? So let's just move on to today's sponsor. And one thing that I always have in my skincare routine that helps with my hormonal acne, my Vanity Planet Skin Brush. I usually keep this in the shower and you guys might know it's Fox's favorite. As soon as he hears it, he comes running and he wants to use it over his whole body in the shower, which makes shower time very long. So yeah, like I said, they are sponsoring this video, but you know, especially in terms of skincare, I would never talk about anything I don't like. And I've been using this exact skin brush, or I've had like two different versions of this, but this brand for six years, maybe. I actually use it morning and night. However, I only use the silicone brush, this one here. I only use this one because I find it the most gentle on my skin. It does come with ones like this, but I don't use them. I just use the silicone one. I do have a discount code for 70% off if you want to use it. I'll leave the link in the description box below, but here's my code for 70% off. Usually I use a gel cleanser, but I feel like my skin's maybe like extra sensitive right now. So I'm going to try this. I've had it for a while and I haven't used it consistently enough to have an opinion on it, but I like to put a little pea size amount onto the head. So I'm using this one because it's more like a cream cleanser. So I'm thinking maybe that will help me today. In day-to-day -day life, sure, I don't like having pimples or breakouts or dermatitis but I also don't want it for my wedding like if our wedding is in six weeks this dermatitis will stick around let me tell you like acne I feel like I can have a bit more control over or I know how to calm down my skin or what masks to do but dermatitis has a mind of its own I have so much to plan for the wedding we have to go and run some errands and buy some vases so we kind of have like an arts and crafts day I should also mention I like the silicone head better than the brush heads because it's antibacterial so especially if you have acne prone skin that's very helpful so the main the main difference to my skincare routine when I have dermatitis is the oils that I use. You guys know my skin usually loves oil and loves more like heavy moisturizing products. I'm going to use a little bit of the Esme Hyaluronic Acid. I actually do like to have my skin a little wet for this product. Okay, I feel like I've said perioral dermatitis like 13 times in this video already. PD, let's just call it PD for now, hates products of all kinds. If I don't use products on my skin, I break out with like hormonal acne or like cystic acne. So I really can't have my cake and eat it too. I'm either helping my dermatitis or helping my skin texture. So I'm just going to kind of balance it out a little bit. I'm going to use the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer. I do really like this one. Oh, I was supposed to kind of miss that area. Oh well. Okay, anyway, I'm going to keep getting ready, but thank you Vanity Planet for sponsoring today's vlog. Like I said, if you want to check it out, I will leave the link in the description box, as well as my discount code here for 70% off. Don't let my situation right now deter you from this, because I think this was self-inflicted in some way. They all miss you! Say hello! Ah. Oh, wow, okay. Use the noise, ah, bah, like I taught you. Bah, bah. Yeah, that's it, that's it, go, go. Oh, oh, now he's off, he's run away! Show me your drop kick, go. 
Oh, that was a good one. I used to do outfit of the days in every vlog and I feel like I haven't done this in like a year, but I'm gonna bring it back. Outfit of the day is very just like chill active wear because I'm gonna be running around doing errands and maybe doing some like physical stuff at home, like painting vases for the wedding, which you guys will see. But yeah, I'm just wearing like active wear shorts and an oversized white fox jumper. No, we're going in mommy's car. Oh, I know you want to go in daddy's car, but we're going in mommy's car. Mommy's, <laughs> mommy's car's better. We're going in mommy's car. No, <laughs> he wants to go in your car. Where are your sunglasses? <laughs> Do we leave them at home? <laughs> oh man. Should we go back and get them? <laughs> Will you actually wear sunnies? No. I didn't think so. Do you like this song? <laughs> Do you like this song? <laughs> okay, look, I don't want to rub it in. I don't want you to have FOMO, but you just missed out on the best shopping experience of my life. I'm already having so much fun. So today I didn't really explain what my goal is. I said I'm trying to organize some stuff for the wedding, but specifically the styling of my reception. Look, we don't necessarily have a budget for our wedding, but we just don't want to be stupid. We kind of know if we see a quote and we're like, this is stupid or this is excessive. So I'm just trying to save money where I can, but I also really enjoy DIY. So I had a meeting with my amazing florist. Can I just say, I don't know if it's like the normal thing that the bride and the florist become like BF fell but I'm obsessed with my florist Amy we're using willow and bear I will link it up here on Instagram I live in the Shire I live in Cronulla but our wedding is in Byron and she's doing it in Byron like she's gonna drive up but I had a meeting with her yesterday and we discussed that on the tables we're having these really long beautiful tables for our reception and the eating style is like share platters so we're having like big platters come out with like so in between the food we'll have blocks of flowers a cluster of vases blocks of flowers a cluster of vases so I was looking up different vases that I could buy in like blush pinks and terracottas. Some of the ones I liked were like $160 each and I need to buy like 40 So I ended up going to Vinnie's like an op shop or thrift shop. Let's get out of the car. I need to show you the boxes of vases I got. So I brought my camera into the op shop to film but my hands were so full of vases that I kind of had to sacrifice you. So I do love you but vases come first. So I ended up buying two whole boxes of these cool like look at this one. However I will say they actually weren't too cheap. The cheapest one I bought was this one, and this was $8. This one was 20 bucks. Like, that's expensive, I feel like, for an op shop. I'm gonna call my florist again and get, like, a specific number that I need to get, like, maybe around 30. But right now, we're actually here at Kmart because I went onto their website. I don't know how this makes sense, but their vases are actually cheaper than the thrift shop, op shop kind of ones. So my plan is to go and buy paints. I just looked it up on YouTube, and when I do it, I'll link the YouTube video. But I want to find blush paint and terracotta terracotta paint and you mix baking powder into it so it looks like sandy and rough like a terracotta kind of texture. Fox, do you want to do some painting with me later today? Yeah, yeah you can yeah, paint some paint. vases. You can climb up in yourself. You're a big boy. We're never going to get to Kmart now. No, that's all right. He's been sitting in the car for a little bit now, so I feel bad. Whoa. So I just want to touch anyone's hand. All right, the boat, go on. So we're going this way. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Fox, we're going this way. Oh. All right. Carry this one, carry that with you. Okay, let's go. You want the yellow one, dear? Okay, carry the yellow one, now you have to go. Come on, let's go. Bob. You want pink? Yeah. You want the pink one? Yeah. Okay. Gotta go find mum now, where's mum? Mum. We get in the shops and we instantly lose Sarah because Fox is just walking through the toy aisle. He's a man on a mission and I don't know what he wants. What have you got there? Show everyone what you got. Mum. You found it in someone's trolley, you grabbed it out of there. You're like, mum. Mum. Louder. Mom! Mom! Yell out louder. Mom! Where is she? Yell out mom. mom! Oh wait, there she is up there up ahead. One more, big one, really loud. Mom! <laughs> She's trying to hide from us. Is that mom? Hi. Did you find mommy? Mm. Go give mommy a cuddle. Look at you all the stuff mommy. I got. Oh, Mama. Thank Good you. boy. Three bucks. Nice 7.50 for three. I was paying $20 each at Vinnie's. Told you you should have come here first. I told you that. And then this is a candle holder, but I thought it would look cool with like flowers in it. in it. This is the still. wild fox and Sarah. I'm still small enough. <laughs> we just need to go and get the acrylic water-based paint, baking soda, and set up a painting apparatus, a painting station for us at home. Sounds like a plan. Keep it still, watch your face. No, I was meant to hit it. Whoa! <laughs> Ready, set, go. Oh, nice hit, yeah. Daddy's gonna hit it. No! <laughs> you goose. <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> You're alright, get up, say sorry Abby, I didn't mean to hurt you, say sorry Abby. Give her a cuddle, say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go show daddy. I just got a new PR package from White Fox and Fox wanted to try it on. You look amazing. It's a swimsuit. Okay, put it over your shoulder. We'll go show dad. Come on, come show dad. <laughs> oh, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to put it on. Did he? There's some very bright colors, bro. I don't know if you've quite got the chest to fill that out, though. So. Neither does mommy. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to like untie it and like go. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Happy Sunday, Yay, something, good work. something really sad just happened, Kurt. Well, Fox found his one of his birthday presents. You, you that you hid so terribly. I know. Where I was, did you I hide it? Just, I put it in there and he always goes in that cupboard. That's his I favorite cupboard. I, I just you... threw it there yesterday, I was busy. Ew. Yes, okay. And now, and he was about to chuck a, you know, wobbly, which means a tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> wobbly chuck, leg. Chuck a wobbly Throw. in Australian. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's raining outside today and he's a bit bored. So listen to me, listen to me, hold my hands. Look me in the eyes. If I give this to you today, do you promise to be a good boy? <laughs> yes, you promise? Shake my hand, you promise? <laughs> All right, knuckles. <laughs> good work, All right. So that's another present down the drain. He's found two now, we've just, Give it yeah. in. Are we just the worst, the worst parents ever? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, how cool! I love how much she loves things like this. Yeah. She's so excited. She's... All her patience right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that self-control of not grabbing the ball. Just balls. watch her head just watching the balls go around. <laughs> I thought I would be able to do this whole vlog and this project in one day, but no. Yes! Yeah, cool, you keep going. I just need to talk to them for a second. No, no! Alright, this is called adapting. Vlog adapting. Okay. So yesterday, we literally spent the whole day getting this stuff. So today, I get to do the fun part. So this half here is all from Vinny's. And like I said, they weren't cheap. Like that was 20 bucks. That was 20 bucks. I just got all the stickers off them. So I need to wash them. And then this side is all from Kmart. Like a pack of three of these. One, two, three. was seven bucks. So my plan is I'm going to buy these ones, which aren't cheap. Oh my. What? Why don't you like when I vlog? You know how sometimes on Insta story I say, I, I tried to vlog today, but it wasn't working. This is what I mean. When he, he, he'll be in a great mood, but he's like, Shh. Yeah. <laughs> you say shh. <laughs> say shh. I'm vlogging. Come here. Come here. Shh. I'm vlogging. All right. Now, what was I saying? Sorry. <laughs> Let me discuss the wedding plans. <laughs> well. <laughs> so I'm gonna buy these vases off my florist. They're an arch, and they're, they're a beautiful, <laughs> they're a beautiful blush color. They're gonna be like the main. Main <laughs> They're gonna be the main vase in the cluster of vases, and then I'm gonna paint all these ones terracotta. So it'll be like a blush vase. <laughs> Matched with a terracotta like cluster of vases. Does that make sense? Yeah. So this has been around for like six years, and every time I've seen it, I've always said to myself, I want this to be, be my wedding Fox, book. Be gentle, Be gentle. It used to only come in white, but then... <laughs> it used to only come in white, and then I found it in terracotta. So this is going to be gentle, our, gentle, our gentle wedding Fox. book that people sign. Okay, I'm going to put that away now. So this is kind of the color I'm going for. for this. I think it's time for a nap. What do you think? I reckon so as well. What do you think? No. <laughs> Time for sleep. <laughs> Time for sleep. <laughs> Can someone tell that little boy to be quiet? Do a beat with it, sir. <laughs> This is why nothing gets done around this house ever. Say hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> Say bye. Ooh.
he's about to have a tantrum. I would like to confirm that we have had no nap. We tried to nap for like an hour, and you didn't nap. Say no. Yeah, I know. in Bunnings. I'm in the paint aisle and I got all these swatches because originally I was thinking maybe these terracotta, like the pre-made terracotta pots would be too orange. So I got a bunch of these. That's too orange. I did like this one, even though it's kind of like a yellowy color, but then I found this pot, which kind of had like a bit of mess on it. Let me show you. So it has kind of spilt a little bit, but I like that color. That's pretty much the color I'm going for. So I think I'm going to get two of these terracotta terracotta pots which means I don't have to do the whole like DIY terracotta paint like if you get normal paint you have to mix baking soda with it so it's rough but I think I'm just gonna get these some brushes and then a drop sheet okay potentially bad news not really at least I have time to like organize this my florist just messaged me and said we can't get our hands on those arch ones that I showed you the blush arch ones so I'm gonna try to find 10 more large vases from Vinnie's they need to be blush because I want blush and terracotta like together complementing each other You come up here you can't touch okay you can watch mummy you can't touch it okay so all of these ones that i showed you before all of these are going to be terracotta and then i'm going to have to go to the op shop or somewhere yes. and find around 10 large pots and paint those blush but i thought let's start with this one because it's quite textured i am a little bit scared that i should have brought like a primer <gasps> whoopsie it's really watery yeah. Let's dip it in. The color looks nice. I'm definitely gonna have to do a few coats of this. Ooh, damn, this is gonna take me so long. If I have to do like th over 30. So in terms of the wedding, I actually still have a lot to do. I'm pretty sure I get to go and have my dress fitting on like, I don't know, maybe like the 12th of April or something, which is cutting it kind of fine, but it's fine. Bye. Yes? Oh, cool. What are you painting? Yay. It looks like the ocean. Yeah. yeah, it looks really cool. I, I need like one of those lazy Susans, you know? I need like a spinny. Don't we have one? Yeah, I, I think it's under there. Yeah. Yeah! yeah it's like you're the pots yourself. I've always wanted to do pottery. Is this water based paint? Yeah. Okay, it'll wash off. Look, Pops, I'm a proper artiste. See, this is the kind of thing I want to do for my hen's party, which is like my bachelorette party. I just want to chill and like paint. Isn't that what you'll be doing? I don't know. I don't know anything. I, don't know. I feel like your sisters know you pretty damn well to, to know what you want to Yeah, do. I don't want to drink and like party. I just want to like do, do something arty. This is going to look so fun. Even if it's messy, it's like kind of what I'm after. That was good. Did you hear that connection? All right, let's move on. Taking me like an hour and a half, I think, and it's been actually really therapeutic. I feel like I'm on like a roll now. The halfway <laughs> progress, everyone. Okay, so this is layout number one. I'm gonna try to do at least two, potentially three, but then I've got to go do the blush ones as well. Do you think it's gonna look good or do you think it's gonna look ugly? I think it'll look good. Links. Oh my goodness, he's eating all the bananas. No, just one at a time. What are you doing? I said you could have one. Bought these bananas this morning. Yeah, I did. And now you've eaten pretty much all of them. You've eaten three. Is that going in the bin? Ta. Yeah. You're yeah. naughty, bro. Back to mummy. See, I'm getting lazier and lazier with this. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the care factor's just dwindling slowly and I'm like, eh, it's not good enough. <laughs> okay, I think I need a snack break. I'm gonna make the thickest yeah. cookie dough protein shake you've ever seen. Let's wash these hands, snack break. No idea this would be a three day process, but this is the day after I painted them. They're kind of 
stuff to the bottom. But I am so impressed with these. Like, look how good they look. So they came out really cool and like matte. Yeah, sure. There are some like really messy parts like this. You can see it dripping. But like whatever. I'm not a perfectionist here. They're going to be clumped all together and like scattered. We're going for the rustic look. But I'm really, really happy with them. So I've done 30 of the terracotta pots. This morning I went out to Vinny's and I bought one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight plus this one. I'm gonna do the blush pale russet, I think, mixed with the baking powder. Day three, let's hope I can get all these painted and get the right consistency. It's like 5.30, so I have like an hour and a half left of daylight, so hopefully I can get this done before it gets too dark. What a combo. So my florist sent me this. So she said it's one cup of water-based paint with one tablespoon of baking powder, which I'm totally gonna eyeball. Cup, a cup. I'm gonna say that's a little more than a cup. Let's do a rough tablespoon. One is done on the blush pots. I also found this one. This was like a random glass one that I had and I love the blush so much, but just in time because the sun is about to go behind the clouds. But that is coat one done on the blush. I can't believe this is gonna take me four days, but I'll check with you guys tomorrow morning when I put the second coat on and I'm hoping that it becomes a bit more like matte and chalky like the terracotta ones because at the moment it's quite shiny and I'm hoping it's just because it's wet. Fingers crossed. What an epic end to this vlog. My mom, everyone loves when you're like, people miss you. So these literally just got delivered. So I figured I would open them with you. Are you supposed to get them like 12 weeks before people's Probably, wedding? Probably, I don't know. This you... is a few weeks before, let me just say. Ah, that's so cool. It's so that's cool. So, so cool. I kind of like came up with the idea and I told it to my little sister who is a graphic designer. She actually works for Kurt full time. So she's a graphic designer and she made my vision. Like Kurt can have a vision if he wants one, but he doesn't care. I'm like, what do you want? He's like, no, okay. well, anyway. That's so, when get married. I get hate and they're like, you should let Kurt have a say. I'm like, you know what? If he had a say, <laughs> Wouldn't we'd have nothing done. <laughs> Obviously, because it's in Byron, it's like we're going away. So how cute. This is a little passport. Okay, sorry, I have to blur some of the fun parts. Look, it matches. So this is going to be inside this because it's like a boarding pass. Cute. Like she designed these from scratch. What do you want to say to, to your peeps? They all love you. Oh, really? Yeah, I love really. you guys too. Thanks for loving me. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you don't know me, but I am very lovable. <laughs> You're squeezing me very tight. <laughs> A guys here to measure up my curtains. I've got to go. I love you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. There's a man here literally about to measure up my window so I can get curtains. Okay, I better stop because he's going to think I'm really weird talking to a camera. Love you. Bye.